I like to look at the sports section and look at my favorite Baker teams and all the scores and updates. I'm reading the Baker Orange for all the news. I read it for the arts and entertainment and the CD reviews. All over campus or online at www.thebakerorange.com. Because it covers all the important stuff. All right, now Alex Dingman with head softball coach Jennifer Rigdon, and we're going to talk a little bit about this upcoming season and also uh, past season. And first off, some improvements that have been made from last year and maybe some things that, um, you know, could be some problems that, you know, were better last year but might be more difficult this year. Talk to me a little bit about that. Uh, last year we kind of had a, just our team chemistry wasn't as good as it should have been. Um, we had some excellent athletes who just kind of fell apart throughout the season. Mm -hmm. Uh, this year we do have a lot of young young players, but I feel that our team chemistry is excellent. And you know, I, I always go into the situation not looking at them as freshmen and sophomores at their class level. I look at them as athletes. So I feel that um, you know what what I've brought in and what we have will definitely um, bring us together in the end. Who are some of those athletes? Some of those freshmen and seniors that you're really going to look for to step up this year? Um, well, I have two seniors, and they are the captains, so I'm definitely looking for some leadership, and they'll be on the field the majority of the time. Um, Kendra Cody and Leslie Kirsting are the two seniors. Uh, we have two freshman pitchers, and Kendra will also come in and pitch a little bit. Um, but we will have freshmen all over the field, so, um, and I don't have any transfers, so it'll definitely be the um, majority of the younger girls carrying the entire team. We should have your work cut out for you there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is your outlook for the season with that young team um, and just two senior leaders? What is your outlook? How good can the softball team be this year? Um, I always go into the this, this season looking at it at us being in the top three. Um, and that's, you know, when I came here, that was kind of what I was shooting for. So I'm always looking to end up in the top three. and. Uh, with Evangel and in Mid-America, they're going to be our two toughest competition-wise. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we have a versatile group, and I think we'll do very well. What kind of things did you do in the off-season to kind of prepare for this year? Um, well, we played a little bit in the off-season. We had a couple of tournaments we played in, um, but we had only eight and nine players at that point. So uh, we do a lot of conditioning, lifting, um, and they only get about two months off, so it's yeah. it's pretty it's strenuous throughout the whole year. Yeah, well, that's good. It'll pay off, I'm sure. Yep. Um, now you've lost some uh, some starting pitchers from last year. Who are you going to look for to be plugged in there and uh, set the starting rotation for this year? Well, Stephanie Nelson, she's a freshman. Um, she will definitely be our starting pitcher. She's got the speed and the power. Um, Marque Strickland is our other freshman, and she is kind of she kind of works a little bit slower but she has uh, some different pitches so she'll be more of the you know move the ball around yeah. type of trick him yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's always a good hat <laughs> yeah um all right now moving on from the pitching to the hitting uh which players are you look for to be power hitters in your lineup and you know just who's going to be the everyday reliable who can you count on just talk to you a little bit about the hitting um alexis Pryor. she's going to be one of the power hitters she's very powerful um, and Kendra Cody they both have quite a few home runs uh, Leslie Kirsting who's our other senior she will she's just a consistent hitter she can kind of do whatever she needs to at that point mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of speed um, some of our freshmen can really work the ball um, bunting slapping um, but Jade Allen and Kelsey Epperson will both be able to kind of manipulate the field, so well, that should be look good. to them. <laughs> yeah. All right, shifting gears a little bit. I know Dan Harris warned you a little bit about being uh, <laughs> too honest, but uh, I know you're the, you're the head of the intramurals here at Baker University, and you know that takes up a lot of your time. I'm sure you know there's certain things you have to do. Does that affect your coaching, or is it just a, a nice added bonus to your job? Or uh, well, it's kind of hard in in the spring because I'm coaching softball plus we're putting on softball for intramural so mm -hmm. um, as far as getting on the field and kind of getting all the games in that's kind of hard um, and I know a lot of people get frustrated with that but yeah. you know when you only have one field and you're trying to get games in plus do intramurals and and it's 
you know, an all day thing once you get out there. But, sure. um, you know, this is my fifth year doing it and it's gotten easier. Yeah. I've kind of learned to delegate my authority, but sure. um, I enjoy it and I know the students really enjoy, um, you know, being a part of intramurals and I try to bring some new things in each year. So. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I know the students appreciate all the work that you do. I know you might not get all the credit for <laughs> it, but um, it's definitely appreciated. All right, talk to me a little bit about uh, the new addition to your life this past year, um, the new baby. How's that going? Good. It's It's been a, a change, but I've kind of learned to deal with it. And, um, you know, I have students that come and babysit for me, so that's kind of good that I'm able to reach out to students on campus. and. Yeah. And I can, you know, bring him to work every now and then, so it's working out really well. Well, that's great to hear, Coach, and good luck to you this season. Thanks Thank for you. stopping by and giving us some time. We appreciate it here at the TV station. And we're going to take a pause, be right back with more Wildcat Chat right after this. I like to look at the sports section and look at my favorite Baker teams and all the scores and updates. I'm reading the Baker Orange for all the news. I read it for the arts and entertainment the CD reviews. All over campus or online at www.thebakerorange.com. Because it covers all the important stuff. That's our show. Thank you for watching Wildcat Chat. And it's on uh, Public Access Channel 70 here in Baldwin City, Kansas. And it'll be on again next week. We'll have a recap of the basketball season. We'll also have a representative from the tennis team and the golf team. So thank you again for watching.